Hey there, Coach Shanae here bringing you a total body workout at home. We have 45 minutes today. We have uh, five rounds, four exercises per round, and we're going to get you a total body workout. Let's go ahead and start by jogging in place here. Don't forget to start your watches. <laughs> Good. Let's go ahead and start taking that into a jump rope. We're going to jump real quick here today because we're going to start off with cardio. And let's go ahead and take it to jumping jacks. It's like warm up for us. All right, back to jump rope right here. Jog it out. Let's go ahead and march it forward. We're going to take it into our toy soldiers. So we're going to stretch out those hamstrings. Start that breathing, right? Go ahead, big breaths in through the nose, big breaths out through the mouth. All right, last one each side. Let's go ahead and take it into that hip opener. So continue to step forward, but now we're going to draw that invisible rainbow with those hips. Okay, one more each side. So let's go ahead and do these big arm circles here. Big arm circles. Kind of stretch up that upper back. That's moving forward. Crisscross in front and behind. Right, right arm across. Left arm across. Now you can keep stretching anything that's going to be feeling tight. I'm going to go ahead and show you the first four moves, okay? You're going to take it into scissor jumps. So you're going to go right, left, land. Right, left, land. Okay, then you're going to take it into just jump squats, here. Then, you're going to take it down to the floor, and we're going to do a frog plank to snap back. So, you're going to step, step, pop, step, step, pop. Then you're going to roll to the elbows, and you're going to do this little military plank roll. Okay, so those are your first four. I'm going to start that clock, and we are going to get started. 10 seconds. If you need to keep jogging in place to stay warm, go ahead and do that. Three, two. All right, scissor jumps right here. So it's right, left, land. Right, left, land. If you can, it's kind of fun to switch the lead leg, but don't mess with yourself too much. So you got God. Right out of that gate. We're going to get that cardio pumping. Coming up next, we've got those jump squats. Five seconds. Three, two, I went straight into it, jump squats. So try to take them wide. So you have those, the little sumo squat, okay? You should always do a calf raise, but make sure if you're just doing the calf raise, you're getting low and then squeezing through the ankles, okay? Otherwise, join me with that. 10 seconds, you're almost there. Three, two, and one, right? Take it to the floor. You have that frogger snap bounce. So, you're gonna step, step, pop. It's quick, so once you get here, pop the feet straight back. Up, up, back. Up, up, back. Good. Good, lift our left in 10. Finishing it in three, two, and one. Now take it to the elbows. Bring it across those ankles. The goal here is to keep the booty down. Tap, tap. Good. Core is tight. Stabilize through the shoulders. 10 seconds, maybe start to pick up that pace. Finish it, three, two, and one. So there's your round one, good job. See, nice little warm up, right? All right, scissor jumps again. In three, two, and one right here. So scissor, scissor, squat. Scissor, scissor, squat. This round's gonna be 15 seconds longer. So instead of 30, we got 45. So pace yourself here. Good. 
super important to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Big breath here. Right. Feeling those quads yet? Finish it strong. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, jump squats. So take it wide. You can just do a deep squat with a calf raise if you want. Woo! See your legs are sore from yesterday. Good. Don't forget, you don't have to jump. You can always take it in to a calf raise if you want that extra cardio. Give me that jump. There we go. Perfect. Nice and wide. Keep the toes pointed up. Less than 10. Three, two. All right, take it to the floor. We've got that frog, frog, snap back. Frog, frog, snap back. Good, my friends. Good, stay with me. Up, up, neck back. Almost there. Step, step, snap. Home stretch. Yeah. Don't drop. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. I right, drop to those elbows. Now, hold your foot and zip everything up. Cross tap, cross tap. Trying to float that booty, grind up, sneak it down. Good, use those obliques. Strong lower abs here to hold that crossover. Good, my friends. Here's your home stretch. Pick up that pace if you can. Five seconds. And let that go. Good job. Woo! I haven't looked at the weather today, but I have a feeling it's going to be a hot one. <laughs> Alright, last set here. Three, two, and one. Right here. So it's right, left, middle. Good. Try to hold a steady pace. Press, press. Good, my friends. Home stretch. Don't worry, we have a nice mix today. Yes, Three, two, and one. All right, so my legs are already feeling super burning. So I'm gonna do a couple calf raises. Otherwise, you give me a full jump spot, okay? Perfect. Stay with me. This is your power now, remember. I'm gonna get all the way through it. See if I can add the hops in for the last 15 seconds. Nope. <laughs> My legs stay. No, thank you. Five seconds. Finish it out. Three, two. All right, take it to the floor for those snapbacks right here. So it's plank, step, step, snap. Step, step, snap. Good. Try to keep that net chin off of that neck. The nice neutral gaze. Almost there, friends. Almost there. Snap with that. Quick, quick, quick. 
Alright, 10 seconds. Almost there. In five. Three. Two. And one. Alright, come down to your elbows. You got that military plank ball. Right, tap and tap right here. Tap, tap. Twist and tap. Twist and tap. So allow those hips to roll. Hey, I know you can lock them down, but today we want that nice flow where you're rolling on those hips. Finish it strong right here. Last 10 seconds of round one. Five, three, two, and one. Good job. Nice strong one. I feel it. I'm feeling it. All right, now you've got crisscross jump squats. So you're going to go start low, cross, cross, okay? Then you're going to take your dumbbell and you're going to do a, a lateral lunge. Oh, you can do both, sorry. You're going to do lateral lunge, knee drive curl, okay? Same thing, other side, left lunge, overhead press. And then we'll finish it off with um, sumo triple pulses. So go ahead, have your weights ready. Start low, and we're on. So up, down. You can add the arms. We're going to go overhead at the top, and then up. Get you down, pop, land, pop, land, good. All right, picking up those weights. Um, I just happen to grab my eights. I don't prefer that. But lock your left leg, right leg, and a step. You need to tap it middle and curl. Take that balance challenge. Hold it and curl. <laughs> you decide here. But I want those weights to frame that bending leg. Push, land, and curl. That push off is important. All right, let's switch legs. So now, take it to the left. Frame the knee with the hands. Come up, overhead press. Frame, take it up. Good. The way down, push up, drive, find that balance. Good. If the balance is not there this morning, tap it and still do the arms, okay? All right, now, holding on to your heaviest weight that you've got, you're gonna take it down, two, three, up and squeeze. Down, two, three, up and squeeze. Notice how wide and pointed out my toes are, okay? But you also want to have those hips tucked under. So tap, two, three, up and squeeze. Tap, two, three, up and squeeze. Those are your four, okay? Crisscross jumps, right leg lunge, left leg lateral lunge, and then it up with sumo pulse. So go ahead, when you're ready to get that heart rate back up, in three, two, Start wide, crisscross. But targeting those inner thighs with its crisscross, right? Every time you come in, focus on squeezing those inner thighs for me. Working good. Stay strong. Good. That cardio is feeling. Feeling fresh today. Don't stop. Keep going. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Grab those dumbbells. Right side. Lateral lunge. And do that curl. You can pause and curl. Do a balance challenge and curl. Your choice here. There it is. Good, my friends. 
stay with me. It's hard after a cardio, right? To have balance? Maybe it's just me. <laughs> yeah. 10 seconds. I can't wait to be in studio with live music. All right, let's switch it there. That reminds me, I need to go through some of my playlists and get ready. Any requests? Ah! Then we're gonna need something real good to get through our first workout back at the mill. I'll find something for us. Get in deep. Sit back into that. Sit back. Weights in the heels. Push. Drive. Don't forget, push off that leg. If you can push and land it, even better. All right, take it into that super deep squat. If you have a kettlebell, I'd use that. So wide, tap, two, three, pull. Tap, two, three, pull and squeeze. So at the top of that, I want you to squeeze those glutes so tight, okay? Big squeeze, exaggerate it. Almost there, friends. 10 seconds. Big X on the top. You got five. Three, two, and one. Good job. So one more set of those bad boys. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. You guys waking up yet? Five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, so start wide. Duck, duck. Good, so you get low, up. I wanna see those level changes here. Sweeping those inner thighs. Good, my friends. Here's your home stretch. Let's finish it out right here. All right, pick up that pace. Three, two, and one. Good job, grab those weights. Lateral lunge, right here. Right, hold, and curl. Yes, perfect you guys, perfect. Frame that foot, let me frame those knees right here. Sit back, weight in the heel, push off, curl. Home stretch. You're almost there. Any of you have better balance on one leg than the other? That's common. Three, two, and one, let's switch legs. Big step left, frame it, sit back into it, push off, overhead, overhead. Cut. See if I can find my balance. There we go. Finish it strong, my friends. You got 15 seconds. That's our home stretch. Remember, this is your power set. The last time you have to do these lateral lunges. Stay with me. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, go ahead. Grab your heavier dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever you have. Take it wide. Tap, two, three. Exaggerate the squeeze, pull the elbows high. As I'd say in studio, I want it to look like your butt cheeks are trying to eat your pants. So, guys, you too. Whatever you have on, athletic shorts, athletic pants, I want to see you engage those glutes and squeeze at the top. Tap, tap, tap. Think about getting deeper with every tap. 
Lower, lower, lower. Big squeeze. Three, two, and one. Good job, my friends. So moving on to that next set, we have. All right, so we're gonna do. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. So you're gonna step it back and do a lunge, come up, and we kick back, okay? Then you're gonna hold it, extend, and curl. So we'll do those same two moves, right? And then left. So you just need a dumbbell, no jumping, no crazy moving around this time. All right, 10 seconds. Some single arm work right here. Three, two, one. So arm is overhead. Step back with the right. Come into your overhead tricep extension. Step forward, hinge, kick back. So focus is all in that right tricep. So we're gonna superset that tricep right here. Lunge down, up, in, back. One more. All right, now hold it, and you're gonna go straight out. Stand up, hard on curl. Hinge, extend, hinge, and curl. Perfect. Good. Now you gotta pick a weight you're gonna be able to do all of them with, right? I've got this 10, it feels pretty good. Last one, finish it out. All right, let's switch sides. So now taking that left arm behind, left leg's gonna step back, lunge, extend, hinge, kick back. So it may take a couple before you get that flow, but once you get it, you're gonna feel amazing and you're gonna hold steady tempo, and you're gonna get max reps out of each set. Last one right here. All right, now hold the hinge, straight arm, extend, up, and curl. Hinge, straight out. There you go. Less than 10. Finish it out right here. In three, two, and one. So there's your round one. Not too bad? You good? I hope so. You with me? All right. So we're going to start it off with that right side. Oh. All right. So right arm is up. Step it back. Back. Overhead tricep. Step forward, kick back. So making sure that you have that bicep close to the ear on that overhead extension. Come forward, hinge, straight back. Okay? Yes. Exaggerate the tricep right here. From the back of the shoulder to that elbow. I want you working those arms. Oh yeah. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. So hold it, and you're gonna hinge. Out, up, and curl. Up, and curl. There we go. Good job, guys. You choose your journey here. If you go fives and eights, it's gonna feel quite different the 10s, 12s, 15s. So if you're going easy on yourself and this is like too easy, pick up a heavier weight. If you're struggling too much and you're gonna hurt your shoulder, go down in weight, okay? Always listen to your body. If you can go more, go. If not, hold back. I never want you to get hurt. Woo! All right, let's do this. Go ahead, take it back, up, so feel that extension, that lunge, control it, hinge with the back. Nice balance, nice control of that weight. Now for a second, I want to bring your attention to your abs. 
okay? Super important for balance and in this hinging work that you keep your abs engaged the whole time. If when you're here, you push your belly out, think about pulling it in tight if you can and lifting up through that rib cage. Three, two, and one. Hi. Here we go. Hold it out. Out, up, and squeeze. Abs in. Abs in tight here. Feel that belly breath. Okay? So as you breathe out, instead of pushing your stomach, make sure you're pulling it in tight. Good. Big breath out. All right, my friends. Home stretch right here. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Woo. Good job. It's nice to have a little cardio break, right? A break from the cardio, I mean. <laughs> So decide on your weight what you're going to do for this last set. You ready? All right, so step it back. I'm sticking with my tens. It's challenging enough, but easy enough that I'm not going to stop or quit. So if you want to be down, don't cheat yourself on that lunge, right? We're still working those quads and glutes. Yeah. Home stretch, folks. Home stretch. Five more. Three, two, and one. Hold the hinge. Extend and curl. Woo. I love an Arnold curl. All right? Makes it feel kind of tough. Feels good to feel tough sometimes, right? Good balance. All right, back out. Good, yep, keep going, keep going. Halfway through with that extension in that curl. Stay with me. Almost there. And one. All right, let's go ahead, take it to the other side. Grab that dumbbell, take it overhead, lunge straight down, come up, hinge, take that. We got that flow, pick up that pace. Only if you have control of that movement do I want you to go faster. If you feel unsure, don't go fast. Take it nice and slow. Home stretch. Almost there, almost there. 10 seconds. Down, up, pause, extend. Last one. All right, let's go ahead, take it into that letter D. So, out, up, and curl. Right here. Let's go. Up and curl. There you go, perfect. Straight arm extension into that Arnold curl. You're almost there. Home stretch. While I'm thinking of it, the schedule is open. I've only told um, most of the regulars that have been doing the virtual workouts. So make sure you schedule your uh, workout starting Friday. It'll only let you go to Monday because you set it open to open for a week. So it did it from Monday to Monday. So you will be able to schedule further, but for now, that's what we got. All right, so we're gonna come down to the floor. Hopefully you can see me. You're gonna be in your boat pose with your dumbbells. So, you can either have the seat planted or up. You're going to go back and up. Back and up. 
okay? Let's go ahead and start there. So holding those weights here, come back, open, back up. Sit back, open, sit back up. I'm gonna go these eights. <laughs> So, I don't know if you see what I did there, but I ditched holding on to both eights. So I just have one. All right, now, holding it there. We did this one yesterday. Hold the boat, extend it. You can take the feet down. You can add a little pulse. Good, you can take the arms out and just do the pulse. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Go ahead, let's switch those weights. You're gonna stack the feet. You're gonna go down, two, three, and up. Crunch up. You can support the neck with the hands, or you can keep the hands underneath that low back. Tap, tap, tap. Feel those lower abs engaged. Perfect. You're almost there. Three, two, and one. Now, move those heels together. Make a little V with the feet. You're gonna do a little frog push out. In, reverse crunch. So those legs are gonna stay in the 90 at the top, and you're just gonna barely pick up those hips. Push it straight out. In, low left. You can rest your head down if it starts to dump into your neck. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, good job. I tried to use a bright mat so I wouldn't blend in with the ground. Hopefully that worked. All right, so I'm gonna stick with one eight and I'm gonna see if I can work through that whole time, okay? So, be planted, ready to go. So I'm gonna sit back, open, sit up, sit back, and open. So every time I come up, and sit back. I want my gaze following my hands. Haha, <laughs> now they're worth things. Good. Awesome work, my friends. Here's your home stretch. You can always ditch the weight, go lower in weight, or just be a badass and stick with that heavier weight. Get ready for that press in three, two, and one. So hold it narrow, sit back, hover if you can, and we're just holding that boat pose with that chest press. If it dumps into your hip flexors, go ahead and plant the feet and hinge back. If you're near your couch or a chair, you can lock your feet under and that'll help too. So I'm noticing already I'm fatiguing and my back is rounded. So keep that chest nice and proud and hold that. Ditch the weight if you can't keep that core up and the shoulders back, okay? 10 seconds. Finishing it out right here, you got five. Stay with it. Three, two, and one. All right, so for this one, I do want you to crunch up and tap, 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 squeeze. Point those toes so that that leg is engaged all the way down, okay? Aggressively point, exaggerate that point. Down, down, up. Down, down, up. Finishing it strong right here. Woo! Hold, hold, hold. Finish it out, 10 seconds. Five seconds, three, two, and one. All right, so take it into that frogger, right? So make that low V, push it out, in, little seat lift. Out, in, lift those feet. Right, that's the struggle. The struggle is right here to pick up that booty. But think about those lower abs strengthening and engaging right here. Big breath out.
Finish it strong, guys. Finish it strong. You got 10 seconds. You ready to go? Five. You're almost there. Finish it out. Big lift. Big lift. Last one. Ah, good job. It's a quick break. Right glute and then hitting that right oblique. 
So that toe should be spring loaded. When it lands, push off and drive. Almost there, five seconds. All right, let's switch legs, taking it into that left leg. So crisscross your feet and find that balance and sneak it down. You may not get very far. You may just have a small range of motion, but make sure you're sitting back, okay? Good. Again, you don't have to have that leg crossed. You can tap that toe and sit back, maybe get a little deeper. All right, changing it sides. So now that left side, squat, drive. Sink it, squeeze it. Left oblique right here. Every time you come up, feel that squeeze. Okay, it's not just a tap. You want to do that side crunch. Three, two, and one. Good job. Whew. All right, aren't you glad we did all the cardio in the beginning? <laughs> Ending strong with just some good legs. I feel good. All right, ready? Three, two, and one. Find that balance. You can either tap the toe or cross it, but we're working that single leg work. Adding that foot on gives you that extra weight and, and that extra stretch. If you're down here and you want to add more, you can always add an overhead press with some dumbbells. Okay, that's up to you. If you want more out of the arms, I want to focus on core stability. So I'm going to keep the balance challenge here. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. So step it out nice and wide. And go. So I'm adding a little cross body pull with my arms and I'm really focusing on getting that right a week. Stay with it. You're doing awesome guys, you're doing awesome. Here's 15 seconds. Your good old home stretch. How heavy does your leg feel right now? My leg feels like it weighs a thousand pounds. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Good job. Take it to the other side. So, left leg. Oh, cross it over. <laughs> Find your balance. There you go. Perfect. Alice, are you balancing on a basketball hoop? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> but do what you got to do, right? Little tights make some good stuff. Got to do Whoa. The trick is to find one spot, stare at that one spot, and hold it. Right? Easier said than done. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, step it out. Nice and wide. Push and drive. Use that spring-loaded toe, right? Squat, drive. Push off to that toe to drive that knee high and squeeze to that left side. Yeah. Finish it strong. Ten more seconds left. Finish out this push that right here. Get low, press. Get low, press. And rest it out. Good job. So three more minutes of work. Okay? I got my heart rate up a little bit more than I thought it would. Alright, you ready? Let's go. If you want to try the other version where you're just popping the toe, you can do a little curl with the press. You decide. If you don't want to do 
the figure four. I always like to give you options because today you might be craving a little bit more weight, you know? Or maybe you're not. Maybe your arms need a break and you're enjoying just focusing on those legs. Options are always good. Oops. <laughs> Five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, that right leg is almost toast. Take it out and in, out and in. Just two more sets here, my friend. Finish it up right here. Yesterday was the fitness fifth birthday technically. I'm so sad. Normally we would have done the million meter challenge, had an award ceremony, all kinds of fun stuff to kick off our fifth year. We just have to kick it off in a different way. Alright, switch it out right here. It is good though that we are able to reopen our doors even at a limited capacity. Our birthday week. All right? Good balance. Focus, focus, focus. Just stay low in that squat, pausing, controlling, lifting. These don't have to be fast. You don't have to do a lot of them to get that anything out of it. You can get the most out of it by slowing it down. Three. Two. All right, last 45 seconds here, my friends. Step it out. Drive it. Low, high. Low, high. I love those level changes. I love to see you go down low and then pop it up. Now, don't just drive the knee. Let that side bend to join you and get those side bodies. Even if you have some extra that pinches at the top. <laughs> Keep squeezing it. <clears throat> Five seconds. I feel my burn right here. And last one. All right, there you go. Another workout for the books. Not bad. 45 minutes, done and done. I hope to see you in the studio Friday. We open back up. Thank you very much. Have a great day.